Hi Nancy. Hi. How are you today? I'm not good. My um my husband's left me. Um for my sister. No, so Okay, so so your husband left you for his sister? Yeah. Um and I'm having to, to live in emergency accommodation, which I was only just lucky to get because I only had one house available. Um, and now I have to sit down and I have to explain to my children that their aunt is now their stepmother. Like, I just, I just want to kill it. Yeah, yeah, I, I can assume. So how was your relationship with your sister before the... Um, not very good. Not very good, okay. So... No. Okay. She just used to come around, and now I know why she came around because she came around to see my husband. See your husband, okay. And how does your kids? Um, how many kids do you have? I've got three. You have three kids. Yeah. Um, and uh, what ages are they? Uh, ten, seven, and uh, five. Ten, seven, and five. Yeah. Right. So, and do you work? Yes, I do. I'm a teacher. You're a teacher. Okay. Yeah. So so you have, uh, <coughs> at least you have stable, a stable income at this stage. Yes, I do have stable income, but the problem is where the emergency housing is, is it takes me 45 minutes just to get um, to work, at, but then I've got to get the kids to school. Okay. So it takes you quite a while to get to work and get, so you and your kids are not in the same, same, uh, same No, school? but I'm having them transferred to my to school. Your school okay. To your school, okay. Yeah. okay. So what school do you do? Ah, uh, Logan Reserve. Logan primary. Reserve. Yeah. Okay, in the primary. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Right. So at least your kids can be in the primary. Yes, I, I know, but the problem is, um, you know, dealing with my sister and my husband and trying to just understand that. I just don't understand why she would do this to me. I just, I don't, I don't get it. I just want to stab her. You want to stab her? Yeah. I just want to kill her. Okay. I hate her. You hate her? Yes, I do. I hate her. She's ruined my life. She has ruined my marriage. Yeah. I, just, I, I don't know what I'm going to do. Okay. So, how, what's your, um, what's your sister um, in a relationship with this? Yes. And then she he's a, he, well, he, a really nice guy too, um, but he lost his job. He lost his job, okay. And then after he lost his job, he focused on... She focused on my husband on because he earns um, good money. Okay. And I think that's why. That's why. So you told me this whole situation that um, you've got the, the kids are with you. Um, yeah. And, and then okay. can you tell me um, if you look at the situation at the moment? Um, Way that you and your husband can, can talk about the, the, the issue? No, not at the moment. I don't. I don't want to see his face. I don't want to talk to him at at the moment. It's going through. If he wants to talk to me, he rings my mother, and my mother will ring me, or vice versa. I will ring my mother. I just. I don't. I can't look at him. I can't. Look at her. I just. I just can't. Look at him. Can't deal with the situation because no. of the fact that so both of these people have actually um, yes the they betrayed my trust they betrayed my children's trust um, my children no longer my children now have to come to the with that their aunt is their stepmother and like they don't like her as it is and now they have to deal with her he takes them okay. but right. this is his so when I when uh, you're telling me this whole situation, while you're telling me the situation, how do you feel about it at the moment? At the moment, I just feel so overwhelmed that I just I don't know what to do. I just it's like I can't think. Like I don't want to think about him. I just and I'm always every every time I can't listen to the radio. Every song I just makes me think about him, makes me think about her, and at the moment I just feel so overwhelmed and so lost. I have 
the only I have no support because my mother yes I go through my mother to, to relay messages but she thinks that maybe it's a good thing which that I don't even understand either so at the moment I just feel really lost and I feel really alone so you feel lost and alone yeah okay. yeah really lost and alone. do you have a support network you, you say that you think the school yeah. Um, are there teachers that support you? Um, are I there have people a lot of good friends. Yeah. yeah, I have a lot of. I've, I've told the. Um, I've told the principal um, of the situation, and um, and he's he is very supportive. I have other teachers that um, I teach alongside with, and they're also very supportive. Okay. They they've offered you know to cook dinner and you know stuff like that. Watch the kids for me and. You know, so yeah, it's been really good. That's good. Okay. Yeah. So what? What? You said that you teach um, at the school. Um, yeah. What? What? Do you teach? Um, at the moment, year five. Year five. Yeah. Year five. Okay. Yeah. All right. Okay. Yeah. All right. Um, I love the kids. Beautiful yeah. kids. Okay. I've just actually got a new student. Yeah. Yesterday I got a new student. Lovely little boy. Okay. Yeah. 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 Um. Speaking of your fives in your school, mm -hmm. um, I don't know if um, if my kid is in your school uh, in your class. My kid isn't at school. Oh. Um, yes. Okay. Oh, I see. My um, his name is Billy Bob. And Billy Bob's my new student. Um, He's yeah. a lovely little boy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. With freckles. Yeah. Yes, yes, yeah. lovely, lovely little boy. Okay. Because of that, we have a problem, which we call a human relationship. Okay. So, um, so we can do one of two things. It's like first thing is, because of this, we can cancel the counselling sessions, and I can refer you to uh, the other counsellor here, okay. um, Susan Jones. Okay. So, um, if if you refer me, do I have to sit down and tell this story all over again? Because uh, I've got some case notes which I'll give okay, to, to Susan. Yeah. yeah. Or the other thing is, we can. Um, I've got a thing yeah, which we call a deal relationship. Yeah. agreement we would just work through this and say okay um, although I know the situation this is what we, uh, this is how we're going to approach the situation so I don't know if you would like to continue the, the counseling process with me and we just put some some things in place or if you would like to be referred to, to Susan okay I personally I really would like just to stay with you because I don't want to go and talk about this situation all over again I'm trying to work out how I can stop thinking about okay. it and move on with my All life. Right. So okay, let's just quickly talk about this dual relationship. Okay. Um, what strategies can we put in place if we see each other somewhere else? So so let's say um, let's say it's parent teacher night. Yes. I show up because I go to all the parent teacher nights. Okay. Um, how are we going to uh, deal with the situation? Well, we wouldn't talk about my personal situation. Um, it because it's a parent-teacher interview, we're talking about Billy Bob, your son, not my experiences. Okay. So, so you won't sit there and I'll, like, I'll show up and, and I'll say, how are you doing? And you'll say, I'm not so great because oh, my sister did this or my sister did that. No. So uh, we'll focus no. on... Yes, okay. my, my professional boundaries, um, yes, I understand. I don't have any relationships with the parents outside teaching unless it's the parent teacher yeah. Yeah. Um, other than that yeah okay the second thing I need to say is within our boundaries that we agreed um, remember that everything is confidential yeah. so, uh, even my notes and things um, yeah. are actually locked yeah, up good. here so yeah. Billy Bob won't like come down for a pen and find my notes and, and see okay well that's see, good see that's that. That, that's quite good. Okay, so, and then the other thing that we'll, we'll just have to put in place is that um, I will just know you as a teacher. So yes. if someone asks me, how do you know her, then I'll say that I know her as, and you will say that I know him as Billy Bob's parent. dad. Yeah, yeah, instead yeah. of um, he's my counsellor or yeah. he's or that. So if that's fine with me, we can just sign this form at the end of, of the yeah. session. Sounds uh, so great. That we can I'll take this form to my, my supervisor. Yeah. So they are aware of the fact that I okay. know you from somewhere else. Okay, that okay. would be good. Right, okay. right. So so um
have you um, have you seen when this this all this things happened uh, the thing with your sister and stuff like that? Have you had a situation where you actually went to see maybe your your GP after my yeah yeah? So, left. so how's your after how's your left, sorry how's your sleeping pattern? I don't how's sleep. You don't sleep. No. Okay. I sleep maybe one to two hours a night. I, I can't sleep, I can't eat, I can't. Okay. Yeah. So, so I would like to refer you back to your, your GP. Okay. I just think that you need to just have a chat to your GP um, about what happened. Okay. Um, you don't have to give all the details, just yeah. say that you struggle to sleep. Um, it's influencing your work um, because um, it's not good for our bodies, not to rest. Yeah. Uh, so, so you just need to do that to. to to help you to on the process of recovery, so I'd like you to go and speak to your GP. Um, maybe he can help you also because you have some signs of, of depression. Um, I might be wrong, but just speak to, to him. He's, he's the professional, okay. and he might just help you in, in this process. And then the next time we see each other again, we can just continue. And then hopefully your sleeping patterns will have, would have increased. I would like to finish the session now yep. because I just need to take these paperwork to, to my supervisor and have this on record okay. before we, we actually continue the work out the session. So, okay. right. um, so if, is it a good space for you to stop there? Yeah, it's okay. Yeah. So um, if you don't mind to on your way out to speak to, to Samantha at yeah. reception to just book your next session. Okay, um, for yes. a week? A week is fine. Yep. Um, I'm here for the next four weeks, and then I'm taking two weeks leave. Okay. Um, but so Samantha, what happens then? Samantha can book you in uh, for that for up to then, and then maybe just give it a two-week break. Okay. Um, unless if it's an emergency, um, Susan Jones is available uh, okay. to, to help you out. From All right. Okay. Right, thank great. you. Thank you. All have right. a good day. Thanks.